LTE's innovation goes beyond the items we have discussed so far, such as greater bandwidth flexibility, modulation, and access schemes, to name a few. A first in cellular networks is the ability to support other wireless technologies, therefore facilitating a migration path for an operator regardless of its present technology. In this particular graphic, we can see the two LTE-specific nodes we discussed previously, the SGW, or Serving Gateway, and the MME, or Mobility Management Entity. Existing GSM, WCDMA, HSPA, and CDMA systems can be integrated to the LTE network through standardized interfaces between the SGSN, in the case of 3GPP, and the PDSN in the case of the 3GPP2. Presently, vendors are providing 2G and 3G built-in interfaces within the SGSN and the PDSN to the LTE core network. Other IP technologies, such as WiMAX, can interface in a similar fashion to the LTE EPC. The Packet Data Network Gateway, or the PGW, is responsible for IP address allocation for the UE as well as QoS and quality of service enforcement. When the UE attaches to the network, it is assigned an IP address by the PGW, and a default bearer is established. The purpose of the default bearer is to provide always-on IP connectivity. The PGW serves as a mobility anchor for interworking with non-3GPP technologies such as CDMA 2000 and WiMAX. Lastly, the HSS or Home Subscriber Server and the HLR or Home Location Register contain user subscription information, QoS profiles as in any access restrictions for roaming. Now let's ask ourselves, what does this get us?